Hi, I'm Clarity and this is the United Way Partner Spotlight and today I have with me Brandy Thomas from Child Care Connections. So Brandy, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I have been working in the early childhood field for over 20 years and over 20 years in the Helena Child Care Connections building, which sadly to say we just recently closed and sold that building as our agency is dissolving. That's very unfortunate to hear. It is tough to hear. Um, it basically came down to state contracts. We were not awarded our state uh, contract this year, and so we weren't able to continue our services. And so we made the very hard choice after 45 years in operation to close and dissolve our agency in both the Helena and Bozeman areas. Well, I know I'm not going to be the only person that's really sad to hear that. No, we've gotten lots of great support and outpouring from uh, all of our community members and partners and the providers that we serve. So we're happy that we went out on a high note. And yeah. We're just, right now, I just kind of wanted to give everybody a heads up on to what the transition services were and to let everybody know that services are not going away. <laughs> that was the first panic when uh, we announced we were closing is that, you know, Best Beginning Scholarship and Provider Services wasn't going to be around, but it is. So Fantastic. So uh, are this, so what services in the Bozeman area are going to are going to United Way? So in our Bozeman area, um, United Way has stepped up in, in that, United Way of Gallatin County has stepped up and they are going to take on some of the community work we were doing. So work with the early childhood coalitions in Gallatin County um, and then also just some of those other independent things that we were doing. Um, Bozeman was really strong on creating a child task force and looking at the early childhood crisis as a city and so really focusing on that so that so they're going to be taking over those community things that weren't really part of our contract to begin with but were extra things that we were doing to help the community. Awesome and for our viewers, viewers who are not aware what did Child Care Connections do for the Helena community? So um, throughout our six county region, Child Care Connections was responsible for administering the Best Beginning Scholarship Program to families to help them find and pay for child care. And those services are not going away. So what is happening is Child Care Resources out of Missoula is taking on that task for about half of the state and then Family Connections is taking the other half. Child Care Resources is picking up all six of our current counties. And so if a family is looking for help to pay for child care, they can absolutely give Child Care Resources a call out of Missoula. Um, they are willing to help over the phone, via Zoom. Um, they can submit online applications. They can submit paperwork through online portals. Uh, so the service is still there. Families can still um, get help paying for child care, as well as referrals as well. Um, it, it's kind of a weird time frame because we are helping transition. So up until the end of November, Child Care Connections is still around, even though we're not in building anymore, um, to help with that transition. So if you have a Best Beginnings question, you're a current client, you want to apply, you can still call us till the end of November. We'll get you to who you need to talk to or answer the question ourselves, and then get you transferred over to Missoula when that time comes. Fantastic. Is there anything else you'd like to say that we haven't discussed? Yes. Yeah, so our other side of that, besides the family side going to child care resources in Missoula, is the provider services side. You know, the, the technical assistance for child care providers, training, things like that. All of those services will still be available. Childcaretraining.org is still up and running for online training. The new company coming in, Shine Early Learning, uh, they're going to call this project Spark um, Learning Lab Montana. And they're just waiting to finalize some last minute things with the state. And then once that happens, they will be taking over for the entire state and really implementing some new programs, but still providing all of those services to childcare providers for free that they've gotten from us in the past. Well, that's fantastic to hear. Mm -hmm. 
So services are not going away. We just want to make that <laughs> really clear. Um, I don't have a lot of details about Shine for childcare providers at this time. Um, they're just kind of held up in some contract things. And so once that comes out, we will do our best to communicate. And I know they are planning on doing some large communications as well. Awesome. Thank you. And mm -hmm. thank you so much for being here and sharing the unfortunate news, but there is a silver lining in there in that services are not going away. Correct. Yeah, we just really wanted to stress to that. I, I, we know people panic just as we did um, when it all started to happen, but services aren't going away. Again, you can still call us, email us, Child Care Connections. Um, our website is still up for links, uh, all of those type of things, cccmontana.org. Or, um, you know, just reach out until the end of November. And honestly, some of us are around till the end of December to just help with those final transitions. So if there's questions, give us a call and we'll get you in the right direction. Fantastic. And what is that number? Um, it is 406-587-7786 mm -hmm. is our direct line. Um, and then cccmontana.org. Uh, and if you really want it, my email in particular is just brandy, B-R-N-D-I, at cccmontana.org. Well, thank you, Brandy, and thank you so much for being here. And thank you to all of you for joining us on this week's Partner Spotlight.